Alright, you got me? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I got you. Traffic, white sky wagon, departing one seven sport flyer. Uh, dude, this is awesome. Such a cool plane. Thank you. Oh dang, y'all got a couple, uh, people living in aircraft down here. Yeah, that guy moved those out here and made one of them his home and, uh, shows it off as much as possible. He's got some good ideas. Work in progress like everything else, but pretty cool. Yeah. Alright, so what are you thinking the, the plan for today is? Go to the Man, beach. So the Brazos is right over here. All right. We kind of cruise down the Brazos and go head south. Um, I, I suspect the Brazos is going to be really high still with all the rain that's been going on up north. Um, if that's the case, man, maybe we'll just get up a little bit high and, and all ass down there to head the south. beach. Yeah. yeah. Pretty surely there will be some sort of beach open. Yeah, for sure. Because uh, it, it's a private island down there, so there right. shouldn't really be anybody, you know, a couple people down there maybe on the beach side. Right. But as long as the wind's not too bad on the beach, it should be good. Yeah, as you see how high the Brazos River is. Jeez, yeah, okay. It looks where there are normally sandbars on most of these bends. Yep. Yeah, this... this Bend right here. Um, there's normally a sandbar there that's uh, he's 1,500 feet long. Along this bend right here. Yeah. Bend. And you can't you can't see anything. I mean, it's all under underwater. How, how many miles is it down to the beach? Uh, six, well, 70 miles. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Oh. Yeah. Yes, yeah, man. This, this is my buddy Anthony. We actually met. Social media, yeah. Thanks, thanks to uh, YouTube specifically. Yeah, uh, yeah. I guess we've already been talking about you for a little while now. I know you got in aviation. That's super cool. Yeah, man. Um, so yeah, after after getting out of the Air Force, it was like, okay, I'm gonna get my license and start and, and start flying. And then, like, you know what it's like once you start doing it. It it opens up the world for you and you like we were talking about earlier you meet so many people and, and you start being like how the hell am i in this airplane with this dude and like and we're just going to have a good time you know right. like we've known each other in person like three hours yeah <laughs> yeah and, and 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 i was like other veterans would would absolutely benefit from a situation like this right and, and how can I start, uh, how, how can I make that happen? You know, it was so good for me, my transition out of the military, and, and like, how, how can I, you know, my wife's uncle really helped me out and kind of gave that gift to me, and, and I'm like, I, I think I can work a way to give that gift to other people. But I started, I called it the Backcountry Air Force early on, and I was like, I'm gonna make all these YouTube videos, and I'm gonna donate all the money to private pilot scholarships. And, uh, and, yeah, there was no money, so I was, <laughs> was like, okay, that's not going to work. So then I tried, uh, I, I don't remember what I called it after that, it was something else. And then a buddy of mine calls me up out of the blue, I hadn't talked to him in a, maybe a decade, and, uh, he's like, hey, uh, he lives in Massachusetts, he's like, hey man, I want to come down and see you. I'm like, okay. You know, he buys a plane ticket, he comes down, we're sitting on the couch. And he's like, dude, I want to start a nonprofit. We call it Fly Through It Group, with the intent being like the difficulty of transitioning to fly through that. You know, like if you're going through hell, don't stop. Right. You know. Right. And uh, you know, and over over time, it, it evolved into Veteran Aviator, and, and now we've got um, you know we've been around two years. Um, we've got multiple like. Four candidates in the program. Uh, 
our first guy should finish his check ride any time. Okay, awesome. Um, so he's getting close to being done. Yeah. Are y'all doing just uh, private pilot? Just private for now, and that's basically, you know, just because of the funding. We'd like to go further. Um, the kicker is that, you know, serving in the military as a veteran, you get the GI Bill op opportunity to use your GI Bill to get uh, everything after private, but it doesn't pay for private. Okay. There's a way to do it, but it's it's not the easiest thing in the world. So we're the only ones that are that are doing what we're doing and and filling that fixed wing private uh, gap. Okay, very um, cool. We'd like to eventually get into rotary wing and get guys all the way through commercial um, where they can make a career out of it. And, and we've talked about, you know, like adding like skydiving to it also. Because I'm not a commercial pilot. I don't make money doing it. I do it because I love it. Right. You know, and and, to, and I, everybody's not this way, but to me, I don't want to ruin my passion by trying to make money at it. For know? sure. You know, I can burn a lot of people out. And kinda, yeah. It kind of kill the kill the mood for it, I guess. You could. Yeah. So we don't care if you want to be a commercial pilot or if you just want to, you know, rage around like I do. You know, like we we the funding is the biggest thing because we're new. Um, but it's so how do how do people apply to the process? Like, do they yeah. need to reach out to you? Specifically yeah. So that's fine. Like on on whatever on social media is fine. Uh, our website's veteranaviator.com and there's a whole uh, page on there about how to apply. Basically ask for a little bit about you know the military records, uh, a couple of letters of recommendation, and then a short like essay about what aviation would mean to that person. Okay. And, uh, and then as soon as we get funding, we select somebody and, and they, they start. And then as soon as we get enough funding for the next guy, we select another right. guy or, 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 or lady. Actually, the first person that we selected in the program uh, was a, a female uh, army captain. Oh, very cool. Yeah. So does, awesome. Is there anything to do with branch or it's any branch of the military? No, we don't care at all. Yeah. As long as you serve. You know, even the Space Force, you know. Yeah, we used to go down here and then land on the airstrip, you know, and, and then you'd park and then transfer your thing to these, like, crappy vehicles that people put out on the island and, and then drive over to the beach. And through the airstrip there is public use? No. No, so the whole, the whole island is private. It's right. 26 miles long. Um, the family that owns it, they're... The, like, the story goes that the government took part of the island from them um, and built a base there. Okay. Uh, there's like four runways on it, and they had it for a few years, and then they gave it back to and said they didn't need it anymore. Yeah. I do with the bush wheels, landing right on the beach, and not having to deal with an old hot heat soaked car and, oh yeah you know it's full of sand and land right on the beach get our stuff out have fun for a couple hours and then get back in the airplane and fly home and oh, that's awesome like you and your family can just like go in and, and do that whenever y'all feel yeah man This is gonna be like highlight of my flying career so far. <laughs> like this is so 
pretty. Right down there underneath us right now is uh, the other airfield, uh, the people who own the island. Oh, it's un dude, it's partially underwater. Yeah. You bank right now, there's a, a ton of water on the runway. Oh jeez, look at I, that. I didn't even recognize it was a runway at first. have people fly onto your essentially private island or boat in and you've just got vehicles and stuff here waiting for them and yeah these guys are probably like what in the world we have never seen that before Digging out. Good. Dude, these guys just had their minds blown. They, they've never seen anything like this. <laughs> it's always so funny seeing people that have like never seen a small plane land like some in some crazy spot before. For the first time, they're always blown away. Dude, dude, that was that was so sick, dude. Oh my gosh. Y'all are living like every high schooler's dream now.
I need to make a trip back down here with, I, uh, with my plane. Yeah, dude. Once I'm actually free from work. Dude, so I want to, like, up in Conroe, I want to get some guys together and I want to fly, like, start in Conroe. Okay. And then hit a bunch of backcountry strips. Uh, you know, backcountry strips. Right, right. <laughs> Along the way and go down to the beach, hang out on the beach for a little while. There's another airport over here called Lake Jackson. They got a seafood restaurant on the runway. I did see that. Yeah, so end up over there and uh, have dinner, you know. That'd be really yeah, cool. airplanes we could get to, to do it. I was going to call it the South Texas Tour. Yeah, no, that'd be <laughs> super cool. I uh, do plan on eventually making it all the way down to South Padre. Like, just yeah. hit the coast and just follow the coast down. 